Decades of evidence shows that oxygen levels have a significant effect on nearly every cellular process. So oxygen also affects many types of cell cultures, but especially those that are best models for the in vivo state, such as primary cells, stem cells, neural cells, and cancers. So why should you consider hypoxic conditions in your work? In tissues in the body, oxygen levels are much lower than the 21% in the air we breathe. In fact, oxygen in most tissues ranges from only 4 to 12%. This is why you should consider culturing cells at lower oxygen. In low oxygen, most cultured cells are healthier and they grow faster and live longer. The effect of low oxygen on primary cells is truly amazing. For example, primary mouse embryonic fibroblast cells stop growing after about 28 days in atmospheric oxygen. But the same cells grown in 3% oxygen will continue growing for up to 60 days and they show normal gene expression with no mutations like you would see at 21% oxygen. In fact, at 21% oxygen, you see lots of damage from reactive oxygen species, as if the cells were treated with hydrogen peroxide. And almost everyone cultures stem cells in low oxygen to mimic conditions in the bone marrow and to retain pluripotency. You'll also find hypoxia increasingly playing a role in cancer research. Oxygen does not diffuse well, so the centers of solid tumors have almost no oxygen, and those cells are resistant to treatment with chemotherapy and radiation, and are linked to tumor recurrence. So reproducing those conditions is critical in research for effective treatments.